Hi folks, and last week I did a video talking about endurance, stamina, and speed. And there ended up being quite a few questions about stamina, so I thought this week I'd talk a little bit more about how you can build some stamina. I will put a link at the end of this video to where that first video was in case you didn't see that and are interested in that. So I should have held this up. So this is all going to be about building stamina. But first, let me give you some disclaimers on building stamina. As I said in that video, everybody's got, not everybody, there's a lot of different definitions of stamina. To me, stamina is being able to hold a little bit harder pace for longer. Well, what is that harder pace and what's longer? Well, first of all, it varies. I should start at the bottom. It's the goal event. You know, what the stamina is for a 5K is different than what the stamina is going to be for a marathon. So it's going to vary with the pace you're trying to hold, but it's holding a, a harder pace for longer. And then how much you run makes a big difference in what you should be doing from a stamina standpoint as well. So I'm going to give you some examples of some workouts, but the miles and stuff that I use might not be applicable to you. They might be too little. It might be too much. How much you run your goal event makes a big difference. And of course, the big disclaimer is your aerobic base is always your foundation. And a lot of times people want to skip getting that big aerobic base, but you'll never outrun your aerobic base. So that's always the key. Okay. So that being said, here's an example. Let's say that your current half marathon time is two hours. If you use one of the running calculators out there, that'll tell you the paces you should run for training. You might see that easy runs in this case are 931 to 1027. Marathon pace is 938 and your tempo pace is 845. A comment on tempo. Tempo is another thing that has multiple meanings. When I talk about tempo, I'm talking about working at your lactate threshold. Other people use tempo to define any type of a little bit harder paced run, but that's not what I'm doing. I'm talking about tempo being your lactate threshold. So first of all, tempo runs. Tempo runs are the bread and butter of developing stamina. Tempo runs are typically 20 to 30 minutes in length. I underline 20 because in general, you're going to shoot for more than 20. You can get up to 30, but that's usually only if you're doing a lot of miles, very experienced runner towards the end of the training cycle, you're generally going to do close to 20 minutes. That 20 to 30 would be two and a half to three and a half miles at that 845 pace. And as I said, most people, it's going to be about two and a half. It's unlikely that you're going to get past three in most cases. Now, if you want to do a little bit more, you can do temple intervals. So temple intervals are where you're going to be running at that temple pace taking very short rest and then doing it again. A real common one is one mile. So that one is typically looking for about 30 minutes of total work. So looking at that 845 pace, I might be doing four by one mile with maybe a minute and a half rest in between each of them. That allows you to get a little bit more tempo work in uh, without exceeding that you want to be around 20 minutes. But tempo, lactate threshold is kind of a bread and butter workout. Another great one is workouts at your aerobic threshold. So your aerobic threshold is either what I call the faster end of easy or marathon pace. So if you go back to the example I showed where it said your easy runs were 931 to something and marathon pace about 938, it's actually a little unusual. Usually I see marathon pace and the fast end of easy being exactly the same. But really then right around that 9, you know, 15, 9, 10 range, that's your aerobic threshold. So doing more running at that pace is going to help you build some endurance because it's still easy, but it's not as easy as if you're running 10, you know, which is on the long run. So doing runs at your aerobic threshold and building those up over time will also help you build some endurance. We also have progression runs. So in this particular example, maybe you run three miles at an easy pace, then you run two miles at that marathon pace or your aerobic threshold, and maybe you do another mile then at your half marathon pace, and then you add a little bit of a cool down because half marathon pace is faster running. That's just one example. There's a lot of different ways to do progression runs, but the key is progression runs get faster and faster. It gets a little bit more uncomfortable, but this isn't a lot of hard work because those first five miles were all in that easy zone. You only had the one mile. You might build that over time. After you've done that a couple of times, maybe the next time you do a progression run, and I'm not suggesting you do these every week, you know, maybe eventually you get to the point where you're doing a couple of those miles at half marathon pace, maybe three of the miles at marathon pace, but progressing through the run, making it more challenging will help build out your stamina. And then finally, um, you can take a look at long runs with tempo work mixed in, not for the faint of heart. An example here might be you do four miles easy, two miles at your tempo pace, four miles easy, another mile at tempo pace, then another mile easy. Now you've got that tempo work inside of a longer run, which is already a little bit more endurance. The caution you have to use here is you need to make sure you can kind of give up that long run for that. Many people need that long run to get their aerobic base, but if you've got some good aerobic base, now and then you can play with a long run and make that more challenging. Now there are still 
all kinds of other runs that you can do to build stamina. Those are not the only ones. Um, some other keys is you build them over the training cycle. So you don't just jump in and say, this is where I'm at. They kind of build over time. Your goal would be, as an example, that nine miles at marathon pace should someday feel about as challenging as five miles at marathon pace used to be. But you wouldn't jump into nine. I'm not even saying nine is the right answer for everybody. But at some point in time, five feels challenging, but you can do it. And then eventually six is what you can do. And you work more into that. But again, that's over the training cycle. So I hope that helps because stamina is one of your keys to being successful in your endurance races.